Hello, and welcome to Omron's Quick Tip video series. I'm Doug Brown, and today I'm going to show you how to display and edit an NJ timer value in the NS HMI. Now, this might seem like a simple and straightforward thing to do, and for the most part it is, but there is a problem. The NS HMI requests uh, data from the PLC by using tag names. So I have a tag in the PLC called timer preset time. Its data type is time. Over on the HMI, I have a numeral display where I want to display or edit that time. Uh, the numeral display only supports numbers, integers, unsigned integers, real numbers. It does not support time. So if I was to put my timer PT tag into that object, I would set its data type to be long integer, let's say. And when I try and communicate, not only does it check the tag name, it also checks the data type. And it says, ooh, time is not equal to long integer, and therefore, the HMI does not properly communicate with the PLC. So how can we solve this? We can take advantage of the virtual CJ memory. So each NJ has um, all the memory areas in it that a CJ PLC would have. That's to support legacy communications. So another fact you need to know is that the time data type actually is stored as a long integer. Um, and it's a long integer representing nanoseconds. So a one with nine zeros after it would represent one second. So if I was to add an AT specification in the variable table for my timer PT variable, that would then link the, the data for that tag with the CJ virtual memory. So percent %w0 would be like work area word zero in a CJ. Um, by doing that, that now sticks the memory for that variable into the CJ memory. On the HMI, instead of putting in the tag name now, I can put in the CJ address, and now the data type of long integer it doesn't check to see that time equals long integer, it just reads the eight bytes out of work area word zero, and it uh, just imputes the long integer data type to it, and so everything actually works quite nicely. So, let me show you practically how this works. Let's start in SysMax Studio. I'm going to create a simple timer. I'll use a T on. I'm going to call it uh, timer FD. Give it timer PT is the one variable, and timer elapsed time, or ET, is the output variable. And just to make this do something, I'm going to link it to a normally closed contact of timer FB.Q. So it's just a cascaded timer. Okay, so now over in the AT column, I'm going to put percent %w0 for the first variable. Each one of these takes up four words because it's a long integer, so the next one available would be w4. And that's all we really need to do on the PLC side. Let's now go to CX Designer. I'm going to start a new project, pick the latest firmware. I'm going to disable the serial port because it's enabled by default when you create a project. Enable the ethernet. Add a host. I will call it NJ. I'll set it to be a SysMac NJ and I'll give it an IP address. All right, so now I'm going to get a numeral display. I'll put it on the screen. And I'm going to set it to be a long integer. Give it a couple uh, decimal places. I'm going to want to set the scaling to it. So I'm going to go down here and create a new one called seconds. And it's going to be 0 and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 8 zeros and a 1. As a scale value, that's going to scale our nanoseconds into seconds. For the address, I'm going to click on the set button. I'm going to change it to the work area, word zero. The important thing here is to set the data type to long integer. And just to make it look a little nicer, I'll change the text. There we go. Now I'm going to uh, copy 
and paste that. And we'll change the address on this one to word four. It will also be a long integer. Now we can test this out. Before I do, I'll save. Go back to SysMac Studio. I'm going to use the integrated simulation. So this will spawn the emulator for SysMac Studio to do the NJ side, and it will start the HMI emulator on the CX Designer side, and the two talk together. So here you can see I have my three seconds here is my preset time and the elapsed time we can see is changing. I can go click here and say let's set this to uh, 2.5 seconds. Enter. We can see we changed 2.5 seconds here and the elapsed time is working as expected. And that is how you uh, link a timer on the screen of the NS to a timer set value or elapsed time in the NJ.